More electric vehicles are hitting the roads in Middle Tennessee than ever before, and now charging stations are popping up all over the state to help with that range anxiety. Let's go to meteorologist Shelby Mack with the very latest on these stations. And Mark, two EV charging stations are opening in Middle Tennessee. One will be in Springfield outside of City Hall. The other is already up and running in Lebanon. I got a chance to talk to the TVA and Middle Tennessee Electric about how they want to ease range anxiety. Our region is number one in electric vehicle charging. TVA, MTE, TDEC, and Tritium came together last week to open a new charging station in Lebanon. TVA spokesperson Scott Fiedler says this station is unique. Tritium units are being used as the chargers, and Tritium is a company that moved to Lebanon, so it's a charge here, buy here, uh, generate here deal. The charger is part of the fast charging network. TBA has plans to put EV chargers every 25 miles to ease range anxiety. These stations are partnerships between local power companies and TVA. We fund the charging station by picking up 80% of the cost. So each local power company has the opportunity to install a charger. It's a, it's a matter of what they want to do with the money, where they want to put it, uh, and how quickly they can get it operational. Brandon Wagoner with MTE says they decided that if TVA was willing to put in financial stake, they needed to take this opportunity. MTE has the most electric vehicles on our system of any local power company in the state of Tennessee. So we sort of feel called into to be a leader in this area. On average, this charger will take 20 minutes to get 80% battery. The cost is higher than charging at home. It's at 40 cents per kWh. It's below the local average. But um, it, you're, you're paying basically the equivalent for a DC fast charger as you would gassing up. And for all DC fast chargers, it just costs a little bit more for the infrastructure to build up. And, and that's why you see a little bit higher cost. Shelby Mack, News 2.